Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem. We have 2 power 3, power 4, power k, and this equals 512. We are solving for the value of k that will satisfy this equation. Now, we have 2 power 3, power 4, and power k, and this equals 512 here is simply 2 power 9. Now, if you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if you multiply it out 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 2, 32. 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 8 times 2, 2, 5, 6. 2, 5, 6 times 2 is 5, 1, 2. So this 2 power 9 is the index form of writing this. Now, if you have a power n equals a power m, you can now equate the exponents since the bases are the same. We have n equals m. Now, that is the same thing. We are going to do here, this is 2 and this is 2. So, we can now equate the exponents. So, you have 3 power 4 power k and this equals 9. Now 9 here is a perfect square we can have it as 3 power 4 power k equals 3 power 2. 3 power 2 is the same thing as 9. So we have 3 here at the base and we have 3 here at the base we can compare the exponent as well. So we are now going to be left with 4 power k equals 2. So what are we going to do in order to solve for k? 4 here is a perfect square. We can have 2 power 2 or power k and this equals 2. 2 power 2 is 4. So this is 4 power k. This and this is exactly the same thing. So we are now going to apply this identity. If you have a power n, power m, this equals a power n times m. So we are going to have 2 power 2 times k and this equals 2. So we now have 2 power 2k and this equals 2. We can easily raise this 2 to the power of 1 because 2 power 1 is the same thing as 2. So we now have 2 power 2k equals 2 power 1. Now the bases are the same again. We can compare the exponents. So we have 2k equals 1. If that is the case, how can we solve for k? We divide this by 2, we divide this by 2, 2 cancels 2, we have k equals 1 over 2. So this is the value of k that will satisfy this equation. Now let's go ahead and check. Remember, we have 2 power 3, power 4, power k, and this equals 5, 1, 2. And our k is 1 over 2. So we are going to have something like this 2 power 3 power 4 power 1 over 2 and this equals 5 1 2. Have you seen that? So whenever you have something like this, maybe in the form of a power b power c power d, you start from the exponent, the top exponent. So we are going to consider this first two, 4 power 1 over 2. If you have 4 power 1 over 2, this simply means you can have this 4 here is a perfect square. We have 2 power 2 and we have power 1 over 2. If you multiply this exponent, you are going to have 2 power 2 over 2 and this is 2. So 4 power 1 over 2 is the same thing as 2. Or if you don't want to do it that way, you can simply have it as we have 4 power 1 over 2 equals the square root of 4, which is 2. Remember, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a. So, 4 power 1 over 2 is the same thing as 2. So, we are going to replace these two exponents here with 2. So, we are now going to have something like this. We will have 2 power 3. Instead of 4 power 1 over 2, we have 2. And this equals 
5, 1, 2. The next thing you are going to do is to consider this. 3 power 2. 3 power 2 is the same thing as 3 times 3. That is 9. We have 2 power 9. And this equals 5, 1, 2. And indeed, 2 power 9 is 5, 1, 2. Remember, if you have 2 times 2, So, this will give you 5, 1, 2. 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 2, 32, 32 times 2, 64, 64 times 2. This is 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 8 times 2, that is 2, 5, 6, 2, 5, 6 times 2, that is 5, 1, 2. We have 5, 1, 2 equals 5, 1, 2. So, this shows that the answer that we got here is absolutely correct. Now, how about this one? How about if you have something like this? 4 power 5 power 6 power k and this equals 1, 0, 2, 4. How are you going to solve this? The same method. We have 4 power 5 power 6 power k and this equals 1, 0, 2, 4 is the same thing as writing 4 power 5. That is the same thing. Because 4 raised to the power 5 is the same thing as 1, 0, 2, 4. So this is what we are going to do. Now we have 4 here. We have 4 here. The bases are the same. Remember if you have a power m equals a power m. The bases are the same. You compare the exponents. So we are going to have 5 power 6 power k and this equals 5. Have you seen that? Now we can as well raise this 5 to the power of 1. Because 5 power 1 is the same thing as 5. So the bases are the same again. We compare the exponent. We have 6 power k equals 1. So what are we going to do at this point? Remember, 6 power k equals, instead of 1 here, we can have 6 power 0. Because we want to make the bases to be the same. And a number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 6 raised to the power of 0 is 1. So we cannot compare the exponent. Thereby we are having k equals 0. Now the next thing we are going to do is to check. Remember, we now have 4 power, 4 power 5 power 6 power k equals 1, 0, 2, 4. And our k is 0. We have 4 power 5 power 6 power 0 equals 1, 0, 2, 4. So like I said, if you have a power b power c, you start from the top exponent. So we are going to consider this 6 power 0. 6 power 0 is 1. A number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So what we are going to have left is simply 4 power 5 power 1 equals 1, 0, 2, 4. So we consider this 5 power 1. 5 power 1 is the same thing as 5. So we are now going to have 4 power 5 and this equals 1, 0, 2, 4. Yes, 4 power 5 is exactly like 2 power 10. Now let me show you how I got it. 4 is a perfect square, which is equal to 2 power 2, right? So 4 power 5 is the same thing as 2 power 2 or power 5. Have you seen that? So by applying this identity, we can multiply these two exponents. So we have 4 power, power 5 equals 2 power 2 times 5. So we have 4 power 5 equals 2 power 2 times 5 is 10. So 4 power 5 is the same thing as 2 power 10. And this equals 1, 0, 2, 4. So what is 2 power 10? This is 2 into 10 places. So if you multiply everything out, we are definitely going to have 1, 0, 2, 4. And this equals 1, 0, 2, 4. This shows that the answer that we are getting here is also very correct. So this is it in this particular video. I believe you have enjoyed the two classes. And if you have any question, you can leave it on the comment box. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. So thank you and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye guys.